So, good morning to you all. Uh, in this session, I am going to tell you something about uh, HTML5. Basically, uh, HTML5 is a new standard for your HTML. Uh, using HTML5, we can uh, develop a very good applications uh, for the animation based on animation, based on some uh, storing data and so on. We will see one by one what kind of the application we can develop with the HTML5. First, we will see the some small introduction about HTML5 when it is developed and uh, uh, with the uh, how it is developed. Now, HTML5 will be the new standard for the HTML. HTML basically stands for your hypertext transfer protocol and HTML5 is a cooperation between the W3C and WHATWG and this what is this W3C and WHATWG. This WHATWG was uh, working with the web form and application. Basically this particular organization, these two are the organization first of all and this first WHATWG is working with the web forms and the some applications. W3C was working with the XHTML 2.0 and they have collaborated in 2006 and they have developed this HTML. Now, we will we'll see some uh, rules for HTML5. So, uh, in this new feature should be based on your HTML, then the CSS and the JavaScript. And in this, we have reduced the lots of thing for the uh, external plugins like uh, flash plugins we require when we open, when we want to uh, play some animated uh, things or when we pl uh, play some uh, videos at that time. In HTML5, we re reduce this flash kind of things. Now, in this, we have a better error handling and then more markup to replace scripting. HTML5 should be device independent. Like as I can say, uh, some of the features like in Akash tablet to, like uh, uh, for the HTML5 is supported. You can because the Akash tablet uh, has a Chrome browser. So, this Chrome browser is supported all HTML5 features and but because of the HTML like uh, the specification HTML5 is not specified yet. So, there are some browsers not supporting the some of the features of your HTML5 and this and another is rules like keep the development process should be visible to all means to the public also. Now, we will see some uh, basic tags for your HTML5. So, uh, new tags the introduced in HTML5 that is you can see there is an article, there is a command, figure, aside, details, summary, head and footers. There are lots of uh, new tags we have in HTML5. So, uh, I will tell you the one by one exactly the what is used of HTML uh, uh, this tags. So, basically article we will use here to define an article that aside is what aside we will use to define content aside from the page content. Then there is a detail, detail define the uh, additional detail that the user can value or uh, user can hide or show the data. Then summary is define the heading of the detail tag. Header will be uh, in the next tag that is header, header will give you the de uh, detail about your page, the header of your page or the section, the main section of your page. Then footer it will also define like it will uh, give you the information, show you the information about the footer of your document or footer of your section. So, we will see some uh, uh, simple example based on this tags. Now, other uh, new things we have in this uh, HTML5 that is media elements. So, uh, here you can see we can directly play audio using the audio tag, okay, then we can directly play the video using video tag. We can give the some sources also using the sources tag. And there is another uh, feature that is canvas. We can draw the canvas like rectangle, oval, circle this kind of thing and we can fill the color in this particular using this canvas tag. And another uh, elements we have that is based on form. So, this uh, some tags, this some tags are uh, introduced in your 
form element that is data list then key gen output all these tags involved in your introduce new tags introduced in your form element and some of the tag they have removed from like from the html4 and we have not we are not we will not we should not use this tags for the html5 those are you can see the applet as there then base font then big center dir extras like there are lots of tag they have removed from the html5 now uh, using html5 we can uh, design the simple uh, this kind of layout the header part is there i have designed a, a, a very good page based on this uh, using this uh, some basic structural uh, tags so we'll see how we can design also we'll see the code also so first you can see that the header using the header tag we can design header then navigation bar using the navigation tag we can nav tag we can use we can uh, give the navigational bar to your page then the for the main information we can use a section then for the sidebar to uh, separate your side your uh, some content from your main information so we can use a side tag and you can see there is a institutional means here you, we can use as a footer so i can show you the page i have designed in this this is exactly your uh, header i have designed this is your header my blog is a header then the i have used the header tag to design this my blog navigational you can see there is a home about us then the application then section tag is will give the main information about your page and you can give some footer here i have not mentioned footer okay but you can give some footer here using footer tag so we'll see uh, the this page you can see here my blog i have the same page i have a uh, uh, design with the help of some basic tags of html5 so as i said this my blog i have designed using the header and this the, there is a home this is home about us application and contact i have designed using your uh, navigational tag that is nav tag and then we have uh, used this uh, h group means there is some h group what is that h group tag is used to uh, group the header tag means h1 h2 and h3 in this section and here the main information i have used here the section tag so this is exactly the very simple tag, uh, uh, page i have designed with the structural html5 tags we will continue with the uh, other application we will continue with this page i have removed the some section tag and after that i have put it the according to that like if there, if there is some video uh, uh, how to play video will i have included that uh, particular code into this particular web page so with this web page will be the common to all our application now we'll move to another slides so this is a the, i show i shown you that uh, structural element example it is not vis visible because here i have given some link now there is uh, some important tag we have to we should know about the uh, in html5 that is detail then the summary and then the progress this detail and summary this this both the tags we can use uh, to hide and show the information into your page we'll see the some uh, important uh, this this important tags for the html5 i've designed one application based on this you can see uh, i have designed a very simple page here based on detail and summary so when i click on this particular link so whatever the hidden information i'll get here after clicking me after clicking in this particular link okay now how uh, we can do this based on this tag only this much of line of tag we can design this particular operation we can give this uh, particular thing based on this four line of four five line of your tags okay and the next is the progress progress bar is uh, will show you the 
view the completion progress of your task ok means when you are downloading something. So, you will get some progress bar that with the green line it will come one by one one by one and it will show you the completion of your uh, downloaded uh, downloaded particular uh, download file. So, we will see uh, that application how we can implement in this uh, HTML file we, uh, later on for uh, using if we want to use this particular progress bar we have to write some JavaScript code or uh, we have to give some uh, uh, another uh, we have to impl implement the another means we have to write some another code based on some uh, middleware languages. So, here uh, have we have some progress tag based on this we can give that progress bar. So, we will see how we can use that. So, this is the another uh, simple application if I will click on this it will start that it will show the progress you can see my progress bar. So, if I want to stop so I can click on this to stop this application means that uh, progress again we can I have given this till 250. So, it will uh, load till 250 numbers ok. Now, so here to implement this I have used some HTML and the some uh, basic uh, code for uh, from the JavaScript. For the HTML this much of line I have used for the HTML and this much of code I have used for JavaScript. So, you can see how much powerful is your HTML 5. Basically, I have not used the main tags like videos and all, but with the help of the basic tag we can implement this kind of uh, we can use this kind of features in HTML 5 pages. So, these are the basic tags and important for the HTML 5 and it, it is uh, new tags in for the HTML 5 uh, introduced new tag in the HTML 5. Now, we will move to another. So, there is uh, now we will start with the media elements here uh, to play some video or audio uh, we have some separate tags directly we can play video audio using this video and audio tag. So, here I have played one simple uh, video using video tag you can see this video tag I have given the some width and attributes like width height and control 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 means means your media controller like play pause and all th those kind of controls we will get using this attribute. Now, there are some sources like if you want to play that particular movie or video you have to use this source tag. So, we will see the simple application using this three line four line of code we can implement we can play one video. So, here I have implement uh, uh, I got one video like for the Rajnikanth. So, when I am clicking on this start playing and so uh, to play this video as I said I have used only this much of tag. This is exactly the very simple uh, video I have some dot OGG format for to uh, we have we have to use some OGG format or MP4 format to uh, play this videos. There are some format like uh, there are some browser they are not supporting this kind of uh, this video tag as I can say like a uh, uh, Firefox, but you have, if you have a updated version of Firefox. So, this particular application you can play in your HTML5 tags as in HTML5. this is the way we can play video and as I said using this I can show you the code also only this much line of code I have written to play this video you can see. This much line of code all other like uh, 
I'm used to design and all, the page designing and all. But to play video, we have to write this much line of code. So uh, this is the very simple way to play video in your HTML5. Before that, like if we want to play video, then you have to use JavaScript or JSP or another uh, middleware uh, languages, or we have to we have to use some scripting languages. Now, another good and important tag is that is, so we will see some format, this you can see here, uh, we have some uh, format supported uh, like uh, video format and browser support, like what kind of format like one particular browser is supporting, you can see in this, you can zoom it this. So, in this you can see Google, uh, Google uh, Chrome 6 plus is supporting all kind of formats of your videos. So, uh, and Firefox there is no MP4, we cannot play MP4 file and uh, like WebM file we can play, WebM in the sense is web media files we can play and this means uh, Firefox and with the Google Chrome, but Google Chrome is supporting all kind of uh, video, uh, uh, video formats. We will move next now. Now this is the canvas element, using the canvas tag you can uh, design this kind of rectangle or uh, circle or uh, uh, another rectangle on that you can fill the gradient color or normal color you can fill in this canvas element. So, for to design to draw the canvas we, we can write this much of code to draw one particular one simple canvas. Then if you want to uh, draw some line, then you have to use the two method we have in this that is move to, we have move to and the line to, okay. this move to define the starting point to the of the line and line to define the ending point of the line. So, starting point in the sense is like this, you can say and uh, line uh, so line 2 will be start from the ending point okay and we have some uh, very good uh, things we can uh, draw using canvas that is text gradients images we can implement using canvas tag in html5 then there is also very important and a very interesting topic that is drag and drop we uh, use in this html5 we can drag some um, object one place to another uh, we can drag some object from one place to and drop we can drop that particular object into another place. So, I can show this demo like there is some one demo, suppose there is one logo I have used here from the source, I can drag this logo from here to in this particular block and these two blocks are canvas, I have drawn two rectangle canvas and I, I am going to take this uh, hold this particular logo and I am going to drop into this particular rectangle. Okay show you the uh, application based on this. You can see here this is my object, I am going to, I can drop here also, I, I can drop here or we can drop in this particular section. So, I will drop here and if I want to drop, uh, take this particular object to another rectangle, so I can also drop here. So, drag and drop is also possible into your HTML5 code. So, here I have given the link where you can find the very good example based on drag and drop and another uh, tags that is www.w3schools.com and html5. Then these are the some uh, tags we have to give and we have to some implement some method to drag and drop in this. Okay, if to drag and drop we have to use little bit scripting uh, to uh, for the drag and drop to uh, implement the drag and drop operations. We have to write some little bit scripting to perform the drop function. Again, we have we have to write for the drag we have to implement some another uh, method and for the dropping we have to use different method. So, uh, using this little bit scripting we can perform our drag drag and drop operation. Now. There is one more interesting topic that is file API. Uh, this file API in the sense is we can 
upload file and we can uh, like uh, we can read the file from your uh, system and we can store the file into your system using this file api this file api is uh, very good like you can like as you have uh, imp implemented in java or jsp to read file from the desktop or from the server so those thing you can implement with this file api so in this uh, html file api allow developer to interact with the local system on the client side and using this uh, particular method you can use this file that a uh, file there is a file and their file list and file reader all these are your the uh, some methods you have to use to uh, use file to implement some file operations so this but what this particular file will do it provide the read only information such as name type size and last modified date means it will it when i'll use file so it will give me the the information about a file it will give the name of the file the size of the file and when we have uh, last modified that particular file then file list why will use this so file list is, is contain the list of all file object when handling selection of the multiple file when i want to select a multiple file at that time we require file list means at a time if i want to select three file at that time i can use file list then there is a file reader to read file we will use file reader so we'll see the simple example based on file here uh, uh, in this you can see i'm going to choose one file so that file uh, i'm going to choose that file any file i, I can choose so both this is my file rtf so i'll just open this when i'm going to uh, when i'll open click on the open button so i'll get the information about the file so the file name is this then the type of the file it's a ms word file okay and the size of the file and when we have last modified that file that information will get then the next is to choose multiple file selections i can choose this and that after that i can choose this also two file i have selected and you can see this two file i have selected then read this file so i can get this information whatever the content you have in your read file will get that information in this particular block so this way we can use file api okay so how we can implement this using one line of code we can get one file if you want to select multiple file we can use this line of code to implement so you take multiple files now uh, we can there is a, also some interesting uh, api that is mathml mathml is here we can uh, implement some mathematical formulas or uh, we can use some we can implement some matrix okay so using math tag so this much line of code will implement this particular this particular thing so we'll see how like uh, we'll see the one simple application based on math tag so uh, look you can see here this is for the matrix and it's not supported this this particular uh, mat tag is not supported by chrome so we can open this with the firefox you can see now this kind of uh, matrix i want to uh, show so for that i've used this much of code to show this kind of a uh, uh, sorry this kind of uh, matrix so with the help of uh, mat tag we can implement this kind of matrix as i saw you the matrix presentation example then uh, we have some interesting topic in this that is uh, uh, this is not related with the actually like i cannot show you the code because we are running very late so uh, i can show you the simple example based on this html5 and the css css is your cascading style sheet so i have a two application to encourage you to implement and learn this html5 okay one application i have sliding i can slide some images there are some button i can slide one if i want to go to directly four slide so i can directly go to four slide or if i want to go to the one by one then i can use this button this is a simple application 
means the simple web page we have in HTML5, we can develop in HTML5 for the sliding. And this particular thing is implemented with the CSS plus HTML5, there is no scripting language in this. There is another beautiful and very uh, interesting application that is you cannot like you cannot say here like we have used HTML5 and CSS, but truly we have used we have implemented uh, like the guy implemented Vay Kumar uh, using this HTML5 and CSS. So, this kind of thing you can implement in your uh, HTML uh, using HTML5 and CSS. So, let us see the summary like what we have covered video format, drag and drop, canvas, file API, browser support, sub video formats. And these are the some references from where I have learned those things, I am going to got that examples. And this slides are already uploaded in your uh, GitHub or Moodle, from there you can download this. Thank you.